Hello everyone, welcome to Auto Credo, how to use and build guide. He is in Tensei Reincarnation Faction and Empire Faction. So to be honest, he is not that interesting and I feel like he's just a weaker Bernhardt and the moves are also pretty much recycled. So um, don't expect too much from this character, okay? Level 70 max stats comparison to both classes. Royal Commander to have a little bit more damage while Emperor makes him a little bit more tanky. Talent, King's Croatian. I think that's how you pronounce it, Croatian. Okay, uh, when entering battle, all stats except HP plus 10, 13, 16, 20% as six stars. So this talent is only when you're entering battle, which means it doesn't apply to AoE attacks. Second part of the talent, all enemies within three blocks are afflicted with before attacking. For every one block moved, damage dealt one minus one, two, three, four percent at six stars up to five, 10, 15, 20 percent at six stars. So this one here applies when you're getting attacked, it applies to entering battle and AoE as well. I think this talent is really strong. It counters characters with long legs, especially because they now it will make them consider where they want to attack and how many movement they move before they attack. For example, I think this talent works really well against characters like Ares, characters against like Helena, Leon, and etc. Bonding requirement. I'm not going to mention the first three. The fourth one here, toughness, you require Ares' help. And then the fifth one, you need to have Lucretia's help. So for Lucretia and Autocrado, you need each other to unlock one of the bonds. Skills. So from now on, I won't be talking about the recycled skills. I will I will mention it, but I won't go into details. I'll only talk about the exclusive skills for each specific character. Autocrado has the recycled skills of Bernhardt, and I think he's weaker than Bernhardt because of his talent. He has Sword Dance, Parry, just like Bernhardt, and then he has Sword Breath, just like Betty, as a tank. And then he has Shield Bash, and then he has Hegemony, and Strong Arm to tank. Again, these are all skills that Bernhardt has. Okay, now on to his exclusive skills. The first one we have is Exile. Cost 2, cooldown 2, range 1, span single. Physical damage. Attacks an enemy for 1.5 times damage. That's really good damage. If this attack is not guarded, then teleports the target backwards up to three spaces away. I don't know if this is a good thing. I mean, if an opponent is not guarded and then you push him or her three spaces away, that might be a little bit hard for your follow-up to secure the kill. Next skill, Usurp. Cost two, cooldown three, range three, span single. Physical damage attacks one enemy in a selected line dealing 1.5 times damage. After battle, steal up to 3 buffs and displaces the enemy, pushes them back 3 blocks. I think this skill is really good for a melee attacker, because it's 3 range, you pretty much won't get counter attack. Next we have Profolk. After actively dealing damage, inflict Profolk. After taking action, if you have not moved, then take fixed damage equal to 3 times inflictor's attack. For every block moved, this fixed damage is, re is reduced by 0.5 times. Last two turns cannot be dispelled. I think this is a very strong one cost passive skill. So this applies to single target skill or AOE. Second of all, this skill makes your opponent takes more damage, more fixed damage. So if you have characters that does fixed damage, for example, Helena or Bernhardt, when they follow up, they will take much more damage. Awakening skill, Overthrown Order. Cost 3, cooldown 5, range 6, span 3 lines. I think it's a very interesting 3C. It makes them very unique. Physical damage, attacks enemies along 3 lines, dealing 0.36 times AoE damage. Randomizes the positions of the enemies hit and cause them to only be able to move in straight lines. Last one turn cannot be dispelled. If this attack hits at least three targets, then cooldown minus three for this skill, which means the cooldown is only two if you hit three or more targets. I think this attack is very situational, especially, well, there's RNG involved. 
depends how you want to swap them. Let's say if you want them to be out of tank range, you need some help with the uh, swapping. And then next, the next part is good. It's making them only going into a straight line. I think that you can probably, I think this allows you to mess up your opponent's strategy. At least whoever is inflicted with the uh, 3C, they cannot go wherever they want. It's definitely a skill that's worth exploring. Recommended weapon, Seal Guardian is always one of the best weapon for infantry. You get good amount of attack percentage and defense percentage. Next we have Balance Blade. I strongly, strongly recommend Balance Blade because of his, his attack is not very high, but he has a lot of AoE and his AoE, it's more about screwing people's plan rather than trying to deal like good damage. But if you do not have Balanced Blade, I think the Blood Sword is also very good because of his Provoke. Provoke allows him to deal more fixed damage, which this perfectly sync with his 1C passive. Recommended Armor. Very straightforward, he's tanky. So Forbidden Defender, it works best because you can reduce damage at melee and range attack. However, if you do not have a Forbidden Defender, you have a choice of reducing melee damage then you want to choose Bloodline Magic, or if you want to reduce the range damage, Aeolus Battle Armor. Recommend the Helmet, Furry of Tear for the extra skills, and it gives good defense. Carbon Fiber is also a very good choice when you have more HP, you're tankier. When you have less, you deal more attack. If you don't want to use neither of the two above mentioned, then Aeolus Helmet makes it more tanky, increases his survivability. Recommend Accessories, uh, all these three options are verifiable. I think they're all really good. Wing Shing Guards is highly recommended if you want to make him as your semi tank. Overlord Badge is also very good. Increases all of your stats by 5% and immune to a lot of debuffs. Apex Boots, one of the best accessory for short leg heroes. Mm, but at the end of the day, it really depends what his role is to you. In Chan Choices, I highly recommend Clock. He doesn't deal a whole lot of damage, but his AoE is pretty annoying and he has a lot of AoE that you can spam. Breeze to solve the short leg problem and then, and then full move for optimal attack and defense. In Chan is very straightforward. He's very weak against magic damage, just like any infantry. So you want to prioritize attack, HP, and defense. I would recommend just enchanting these three stats for all the gears. For the arena PvP stone, it depends if you want him to be tankier, then you put Suffer Stone. If you want him to deal a little bit more damage, then you'd use the Crisp Stone. Hmm, actually now I think of it, the Magic Defense Stone is probably not a good recommendation. I feel like it might be irrelevant. He'd probably get one shot by Magic regardless. Soldier Choices, Dark Guard if you are using Blood Sword for extra fixed damage. Again, don't forget that his Provoke makes fixed damage very strong. Heavy Infantry if the other side has Lancer units. And I think Heavy Infantry is probably the best troops for PvE. And then the last two soldier choices is pretty much for counter pink. For example, if they have cavalry units and you want him to tank, you probably want to use Lava Titan. If they have infantry units, then you probably want to use Royal Cavalry. However, these two troops are mainly on the defensive side. Okay, everyone, that is it for this video. Auto Kratos is a character that I don't really recommend you building for PvE nor PvP. He doesn't offer too much in my opinion. I do hope to see him being used in Apex in the future, hoping someone can come up with some very sick strategies. I hope you guys have a better understanding of how to use and build this character. If you like what you're watching, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Bye bye. <laughs>